Hey guys, Frostman here. I uh, wanted to clarify the video that I had earlier that uh, I was fiddling around with the uh, HP Media Smart server and trying to uh, set up so that I could install a, a bigger, better processor. I uh, wanted to clarify a little bit because apparently there's a much easier way <laughs> um, and I took the hard route. The easiest route is um, which was uh, brought up by this M. Sawyer 91 that's on uh, uh, mediasmartserver.net. Anyway, he had come up with uh, a much easier plan, and somebody else that actually has a uh, flash of their BIOS, so you could just install that BIOS. So, um, kind of wanted to backpedal on that. Nothing like backpedaling on your own. Uh, uh, on your own words at least, but um, since there was an easier route and it's a pain in the ass for me to try to find uh, info like this, uh, I wanted to at least bring this out there. It did clarify, it did fix the uh, uh, shutdown problem that I was having as well as um, there, was one, there was another problem that it had. Um, everything works, uh, boots up nice and quick. Actually, it's, it's loading uh, software at the moment. Um, because I was fiddling around with it a little bit more, but um, anyway, to clarify, uh, you want to still download the uh, the AFU Win, um, and if it's 64-bit, uh, you want to download the AFU 64, um, or if it's 32-bit, if you already have it. Anyway, um, still save your BIOS because um, if you screw up, you want to make sure you're able to go back on it. Um, and there is um, little how-tos on there on how to unbrick it. Um, not brave enough to actually try those out. Um, but anyway, still save your BIOS, um, and then once you've done that, um, you actually want to uh, load this ROM flash file, uh, go into the um, uh, setup tab, under the program all blocks, you want to make sure that you select, um, uh, so in the block options you want to select the uh, program all blocks, um, main BIOS image, boot block, NVM RAM, in the CMOS options, you want to go into Load ROM Files Optimal, um, and then you want to flash at that point. Uh, and then obviously you want to uh, cross your fingers. Make sure you do it in that route. Um, I've seen a couple people kind of screw that up, but um, anyway, it worked for me. Um, <laughs> in hindsight, I kind of wish I just did it that route because then uh, modifying the actual ROM file and going in there and setting it up and crossing fingers that I actually selected at all. Um, I included the uh, how or the files um, within uh, at least in my in my blog page, which is going to be in the description there. Um, kind of backpedaled a little bit there. You'll see that there is um, the original video. I'm going to leave that up on there. But instead, um, you want to just install this uh, modified flash file. Um, similar steps and then there's also a link in there I'm gonna give credit to the guy who helped me at least um, so there is a link in there to follow that thread um, so yeah and you know the, the rest of the uh, how-to and, and my current setup right there um, they are downloadable there was always a pain in the butt for me to try to find all these files because the, the links were no good or whatnot so as long as this is up um, hopefully these these download links should work for you so anyway hopefully that was um, helpful for some people um, at any rate um, freshman here and I'll be uh, 10 10 on site